17th of December 2017. Today is Sunday. This Rovorovsky hamster is a nine one year nine months old male. Came in um, four days ago with the complaint of having swollen cheeks left. Okay. Now this this hamster had been operated. This is day four today. Day three it was operated by Dr. Daniel for the lump on the right, on the left or right, left cheek. And uh, today I'm showing how the operation was done. Demonstration now, first of all, we weigh the hamster. Before operation, we, we always weigh the hamster because the, the anesthetic dose, anesthetic dose depends on the weight. Okay, so I put it down. This is 25, huh? Okay, so 25 knot. Then after I put the hamster over to this side so that it won't run off the table. If you hold it and then it bites you, it will, it will go off the table, okay? So now, this is just a demonstration because we have already done, done the operation yesterday and uh, it was not video due to the camera fault. The camera was at fault. Now, I will ask my assistant to uh, hold the hamster and show the wound first. Now the wound, she will wear the glove. Where, where is the, the other glove? And, and this glove she have to wear because some of the hamsters bite. She will show the wound first, you see it can jump. Just, just put it down here and then we can video it, put here, yeah. The operation side. Operation side, the wound is there. I will just show the wound here. Here, right? Yes. This was a lump earlier on. And click, make a click and see whether they can click, click the, click there. Click lump and Dr. Daniel incise it under anesthesia and express the pass. You can see in the other video, but the other video just show a slide of the of the hamster only. Okay, now I'm just demonstrating how the hamster is anesthetized. Now we put it in a container. Put it in a container. This is a demonstration. This already been operation has already been done. Huh? Then we switch on the oxygen generator, which is the machine which generates oxygen so that you don't need the cylinder. This is a cylinder. We have a standby cylinder of oxygen also, but we are using this nowadays because we don't have to buy the the cylinder, this generates oxygen from the air and it goes to here. Oxygen generator comes here. Okay, and then normally I prefer three uh, liters per minute. And then I will switch on to 5%. Isofluorine 5%. 5%. We know the time. We have the anesthetic record to record the time. And uh, normally this is uh, closed. Was it closed? It was done with a closed circuit. Close is uh, the patient circuit is closed, 5%. So I will run the isofluorine plus oxygen into this container, this container here. This is a demonstration, it's already been done. So I'm just demonstrating it because it was not video yesterday when the operation was done. There's a camera has some problems on this camera. Okay, so after that when the answer is sleepy, then uh, you can see because the answer won't be moving. Huh? We're moving then, then we take out and put the hamster onto the. This is the, the paper, I'll put the paper and put it here. But, but we already done it, so I'm going to put, 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 put back here first time. The best is don't carry, always always hold the hamster in the container because it bites you, then you let go. You see? Okay, so this is a low, bigger container so that it's easy to to hold the hamster. Okay, come. Now, Roboroski likes to jump. Okay, get ready, all the or the antiseptic. We just clean the wound. The wound has already dried up. Cotton bud with chloroxidine clean. In fact, there's not, not much to clean because it's already dried up and it's a very clean wound. The, the lump has been uh, full up, except is there some swelling there? Let me see. See, there's still some swelling there. So normally you should express out the residual, residual, uh, then clear, clear off. Uh, the pass, the radio pass, and uh, I'll take the common part and quickly clean up again. Uh, Any more? Open up the wound again, that, that should be the way. Now, obviously, just now we thought that was okay, but actually, it's not okay. So, this hamster just express the wound, take, take a new cotton part and go in and, and clear the pass. Because some, some viewers will complain that I don't wear this, but there's nothing much to wear. So, what we do is we just clean up. It's a post op. Otherwise, abscess will come back again if you don't clear everything. Eh? You see, there seems to be something inside. 
it could be the dead tissue or something. It's something with a faucet pick up. That we have a faucet here just now. This one there was a faucet here, there, there. the faucet is here. So you must know your equipment is here already, then don't know, look for it, is it? Okay, they see pick up the there seems to be a small tissue or some debris inside. Is it not the dead skin? Is it no nothing? It cannot come out. It cannot come out, but you can see you prefer the wound to be open and let it drain, huh? Now let me have the forcep and see whether it can take out or not. So you you really got to check. Of course you need two people. And don't just let the wound close up without checking. Now this one is a very small piece of tissue or, or, or dirt. So you see the wound is quite clean. Okay, so clean up the wound. I'll put, put one antibiotic drop in. Antibiotic drop in and then this hamster can go home already. Okay, I know it's better. Okay, leave it there and uh, this is the end of the video, educational video. Now we have to give uh, antibiotics. That, that is the post-op post uh, cl uh, cleaning. Day two, uh, second day, now give two drops once a day. There's a bit of antibiotics. And uh, there is a bit of one drop of prep will do. And then it goes on today, we don't keep it too long. Yeah. This answer so far is okay. It's a bit thin. It's 25 grams now, it lost weight. We waste the container, so we put back in the container. Now, the, my assistant, the best is don't, don't handle it. Huh? The best is just scoop it in so that it doesn't uh, bite you and then it falls on the floor. Okay, that is the end of the video. Post op day four. Robot skin, one year, nine months old. Hamster with an uh, abscess in the right cheek and uh, he had lost hair as you can see and was not eating much okay finish